there was something stirring at the zoo. The lemurs could sense it. The owl had heard a rumor. The otters couldn't wait. The ceremonial band of the Norwegian King's Guard was out. So was the drill team. The public were there in force and the international media. They were here for this, the penguin who inspects the troops. The name's Olaf, Nils Olaf. He was made mascot to the Norwegian King's Guard in 1972 and has risen through the ranks to become honorary colonel-in-chief, a colonel who commands respect. friends, friends of His Majesty the King's Guard, ladies and gentlemen. And just when it couldn't get any more surreal, curious penguin buddies looked on from behind the fence as Nils was given a Norwegian knighthood, complete with a sword tap on each wing. It is really cute. Well, I thought it was surreal at first, but it was very well done. He must have been very brave to get that medal. This is the second version of Nils Olav, the original having passed away. Why we choose a penguin in 72? He's named Nils after the soldier who selected him in the 70s, for two good reasons. One, the behaviour. Two, the uniform. <laughs> He is the most decorated penguin on the planet, from Sergeant Major to Colonel-in-Chief, and now, the knighthood. And so after the pomp, a change in circumstances. It's not Nils no, Olaf gentlemen. anymore, Nils that'll be best. Sir Nils to you and I. James Matthews, Sky News, at Edinburgh Zoo.